Hey guys, Vinny from Whiskey with Friends here. And today, instead of drinking our whiskey, we're going to eat it. I'll be showing you how to make a snack called Drunken Meatballs. It's extremely simple, great for uh, parties or uh, little get-togethers if you just want a quick snack and aren't concerned much about health or quality. So, uh, the ingredients for our Drunken Meatballs are ketchup, your preference of whiskey. Today I'm using Rare Breed. I'm using Rare Breed because uh, it has really good flavor and I don't necessarily care about the alcohol content because we're going to be cooking the alcohol out of it anyway. So I want the spices and the seasonings and the oakiness from this uh, and the alcohol is somewhat irrelevant in this scenario. We're using brown sugar and frozen meatballs. So First, what we're going to do is we're going to make our sauce, make our mixture, and it's comprised of uh, two parts ketchup and then one part whiskey and one part brown sugar. So you can scale it accordingly. Right now, I'm going to do one cup of ketchup to a half a cup of rare breed and brown sugar. Uh, but and that's good for anywhere from 25 to 40 meatballs or so. You can get away with 50 meatballs. Uh, if you're only going to make 10 or if you're making hundreds, obviously scale accordingly. But two parts ketchup, one part whiskey, and one part brown sugar. So we're going to start with the sauce, and that's very simple. I'm turning the heat on medium. And then I will add in the three ingredients. I'll add in a half a cup of packed brown sugar. One cup of ketchup. and then a half a cup of our rare breed bourbon. All right. And that's essentially it. We're gonna let it cook a little bit. Most of the heat is going to come from the crock pot, so we're not even gonna unfreeze these meatballs. Uh, the sauce, as soon as it's mixed together, we're going to throw everything in the crock pot and we're going to leave it in there um, for anywhere over an hour, really. You, you're fine if you leave it in there for three, four, five hours. Um, if you don't pre-mix the sauce, then you need to leave it in for a minimum of two hours. But if you pre-mix the sauce like this and we're already cooking off the majority of the alcohol, then this, uh, the crock pot then just becomes a method of heating up the meatballs and then infusing the sauce into them. It's not, it's not really used to cook the, uh, the alcohol away, which is what I want to accomplish now. So I'm on medium heat. I'm stirring the sauce. You can see here it's, it's uh, mixing together pretty well. I still have some chunks. So I'll go for probably, probably two to three minutes total on the storing, stirring. And then I'll throw everything in the crock pot and I'll leave that for an hour or more. So you'll notice I was stirring it pretty consistently the whole time. And the reason for that is I have the temperature hot enough where you'll actually start to see the sauce just simmer a little bit. And that's important, again, for the alcohol itself to cook down. So if I leave it untouched at that heat, I'll burn the sauce and we won't get the flavors that we're looking for. So the combination of higher heat to cook off the alcohol and consistent stirring gives us that balance of uh, heat without the burn that we're looking for. I'm gonna let this go for about 30 more seconds and then we're essentially finished. All right, our sauce is fully mixed. You can tell that it darkened up a little bit in the process, which is what we expected. 
it's quite liquidy now that it's all been cooked down. So all that's left is to add it to the crock pot and wait. So I'll dump in my frozen meatballs and then pour my sauce over them. My heat's already set and I will see you in an hour. All right, it's been a little over an hour, so we're gonna go ahead and pull our meatballs out and see how they came out. I didn't use a ton of meatballs, so I'm going to scoop out the meatballs without taking all of the sauce. Just a personal preference. And here they are. Drunken meatballs. Enjoy. I love these things.